everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. And we've got an entire series for you today. There's This is a Chase series. So whenever these are available, I buy all of them. So we make sure that we get the Chase card. And the Chase card in this series is going to be the Nolan Ryan rookie card in an SGC 5.5. There's also other Chasers as well. It's Kind of seems crazy to say, but another chaser is a Wander Franco rookie patch auto in a PSA 10, which was at the time that we were negotiating this price point and everything was a $2,000 card. It's probably about $1,500 right now as the Wander market have, has cooled considerably, but it, it might be the only PSA 10 rookie patch auto of this specific color uh, denominator out of 50. Uh, from 2022 Inception. So a whole bunch of uh, great stuff in here. In addition to those two chasers, there's a Mike Schmidt rookie card. There is a Steve Carlton rookie card. There's a whole bunch of great stuff. This mystery box, which you can see I've uh, organized them all right here. They're all ready to go. They're all in sequential order from 1 through 10. Then um, what, what's up here? 11 through 19 and so on. Just be grabbing and going with these until we run out of them. We're all sold out, by the way. In fact, after our home run derby today, I went and checked uh, my PayPal, and we had like oversold it by like six spots. So I just sent a whole bunch of refunds to folks. This was a pretty popular uh, product, and it is the first time we've ever done this one. The product, let me grab one off the top here. The product is called Nothing But Hits. It's from Rip and Dickies, and this is their very first series. So this was put together by one of our Patreon members. His name is Richard Bailey. He reached out to me and said he would like to go the way of Justin Harris and Jay Claus and um, Keith Newrow and the Newrow Mystery Packs and make his own specific line, especially for Patreon. Stay classy as well. So these guys make um, Patreon-only releases, and this is what this was. It was made specifically for you guys. So let's go ahead and see what we can find in here. Jesse just became a new channel member. Thank you very much, Jesse. Before we start, we have to randomize the spot. So let me go ahead and bring this in. We have not ripped anything yet. We're going to rip right now. So on my laptop here, you see random.org. I have taken all of these names, there's 50 names that I have in the spreadsheet. I have copied and pasted them into this list right here from Dave, uh, who's the first one, Lake, all the way down to James. There's 50 total spots. You're going to find out what box you're going to get right now. Then what's going to happen is this, because just to make it go faster, um, just hopefully you remember what box you have. If you don't, um, I'm just going to probably write your name above the um, box number as we go along. Unfortunately, we are all sold out. And there he is, Richard Bailey. That's that's who made these for us. Richard Bailey says, Wander might be a pop one. Could not find the pop report. So there's the creator, Richard Bailey, right there. Let's find out what box everyone has. I'm going to hit the randomize button one time, and here's your box. So Michael's going to have the first one, then Elijah with the second one, then Steve Patterson, William with the fourth one, Ryan with five, Noah with six, Todd with seven, Joey with eight, William fine, A.K. Jerry fine with nine, Chris Hall with ten, Sean Verwold has eleven, Enrique has got twelve, Thomas thirteen, fourteen is Nathan, fifteen is Richard, sixteen is Nick Miller, seventeen is Chris, eighteen Kyle, nineteen Ryan West, twenty is Richard Myers, twenty-one is John Barker, twenty-two is Patrick Crawford. 23 is David, 24, Jason Simon, 25, Anthony, 26, James Walsh, 27, uh, Ivan, 28 is Richard, 29 is Philip, 30 is Aaron, 31 is Travis, 32 is James, J, 33 is David, 34, Lake, 35, William, 36 is Cupids, 37, Team Torque, 38, Enrique, 39, Todd, 30, uh, 40 is Thomas, 41 is Blake, 42 is Joe, 43 is Yvonne with his second box. Raymond J. Seitzinger, a.k.a. Dreamer Believer, has got 44. 45 is for Patrick. 46 is Joe Young. 47 is for Keith Nero. 48 is for Bradley. 49 is for Derek. And 50, last box, is going to be for Enrique. So let's go ahead and start ripping these open. There is a weird, strange orange afterglow here, by the way. It looks a little darker. This is like uh, when I walked past my room earlier, I had all these lights on. The, the room just has a, an eerie orange glow from all of these boxes. The light is just bouncing off them right back at me. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, we've got the list right there. And um, 
I wonder if I can copy and paste this and put it in the description for you guys. You don't have to ask. Um, like, so let's say, for example, that uh, Jerry's not here right now and he wants to know what box he has. I wonder if I can put in the description so we can just refer people there. Let me see. Uh, copy and paste. And uh, okay, that it gave it gave me the the order, but it doesn't have the number with it. So here's the order. There we go. So there's no numbers with it, but the list is in there right now. For whatever reason, it didn't copy in the numeral, but you'll know exactly, kind of like get a general gist of where you're at. All right, so folks, let's go ahead and get started. Pack number one is going to be for, and it does seem like it's a little, it seems like it's dark in here, but the lights are bright. I swear they're bright. It's just, I think it's this orange glow. This is going to be for Michael Jasinski with spot number one. So, Michael, good luck to you. Now, one big thing that was important to me is what was the uh, what was the return? Like, if you did not get a chaser, what was the return? I asked Richard what the return of a box is that doesn't hit a chaser. He said 200 bucks. So I thought that was good enough for me. And in box number one, we have a, a wacko pack. I don't know what this is. This is interesting. A bonus slab. So here we go, box number one underway for Michael. We've got 50 of these. Let's see what we've got. So in this first one up, we have a Jeff Bagwell rookie card. Flip it over, and we've got Sammy Sosa, Dalton Varsho autograph. There's Carlos Martinez rookie green, Sosa rookie, and a David Ortiz that is a purple. The Wacko Pack. This is going to be, I don't even know what this is. It is a, it's a weird David Beckham card. So Wacko, I guess, is going to be non-baseball, possibly. And uh, now it comes down to this. This is where most of the value is going to be. We have a Bo Bichette PSA 10. And a bonus slab is going to be a... Oh, boy. Steve Carlton rookie card. Man, how about that in the first pack? Steve Carlton rookie card. There's one of your chasers. Very, very nice right there. Steve Carlton, 1965 tops. This one is an SGC 5.5. And uh, looks like you didn't wait around to uh, <laughs> make you wait for the chaser right there. Boom, right off the bat. We have one of the big, big cards right there. Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer. Uh, I've actually never owned this card before, so this is pretty freaking awesome. I love the way it looks with the uh, SGC tuxedo jacket right there. So we got a hit off the very outset right there, which doesn't always happen, so that's pretty cool. Michael's got to be happy with that one, getting one, of the, uh, getting one of the chasers in the very first pack. So I'll go ahead and put this back, this Bobichette PSA 10. Put that back in there and go ahead and close the box back up. Michael, thank you very much. Next up, box number two. Pack number two. All the numbers, by the way, are going to be right here as we go along. This one's going to be for Elijah Limbo. So it looks like you missed out on the big hit there by one. I highly doubt that uh, Richard's probably going to put the Nolan Ryan right after that. All right, so inside we've got, uh, looks like we're going to have a wacko pack in maybe every one of these. We have a slab right here as well. So let's see what we've got in this one. All right, so Chipper Jones rookie card. We've got Max Scherzer gold, Glaber. That is a Glaber rookie card, which is not numbered. Kyle Wright out of 499, and then we have a Jazz Chisholm out of 2021. This Wacko Pack is going to have a Rob Gronkowski, who is, uh, I guess, retired now. It's a Rob Gronkowski rookie card, so that might be a pretty good one there. It's probably probably going to be a Hall of Famer, I guess. I don't know much about football, but I, I assume that's a good one. Baseball Central, thank you very much. And now your slab, it is going to be a Kyle Tucker. Wow, Kyle Tucker autograph! Kyle Tucker autograph right there. That is a 2019 Bowman. Kyle Tucker, rookie auto. Holy cow. For a second there, Eli, I was about to say, well, you know, it looks like you got a Kyle Tucker PSA 10. I mean, that's cool. It's his rookie card, but it's his rookie auto. Very nice right there. So we're off to a good start. 
Kyle Tucker was an all-star this year and a Gronk rookie as well. So congratulations on that. I'm going to put the Kyle Tucker back inside of the purple packs. Looks like so far the folks are liking these. We have, uh, Tony says, hot packs. A nice first two boxes. Good stuff right there. All right, spot number three. This is for Steve Patterson. Steve Patterson. I think later on in this video, after we do like 45, maybe all of them, I'll put a poll up and I'll let you guys rate this product. Because, um... If this is a really good product, like the State Classy or the J-Claws or the New Rose, then uh, we can maybe ask Richard to do a second series. So we'll see what you guys think of this. I'll have you have you score it for me. Um, Steve Patterson in spot number three, pack number three. These boxes were $2.99 each, which covers the PayPal fees and shipping. And Jerry Fine's in the house. Says, I call my wife the Gronk. Jerry, Thank you very much. We'll see uh, what we can find for you in spot number nine coming up. So the Wacko Packs looks like they have some non-sports. All right, so we, Wacko Pack here we have uh, Dr. J. Julius Irving. So Hall of Fame card right there. I wouldn't imagine that would be worth anything because it's just a modern card. But let's see what we have in the baseball cards here. Um, 357 says, it seems like everyone was looking for a 52 man on the national. I think you found the best deal hands down. Thanks, man. <laughs> I, I, I still can't believe I have that card. It's, it's crazy to me. It is uh PSA one, just the eye appeal on it just blew me away. Mookie Betts right there out of 150. My brother actually found that on eBay in the morning and said, you know what? Forget these prices. Just go buy this one on eBay. And I, I, I was, I was going to actually put an offer in of probably about 38 or 39 on eBay and uh, after the national if I didn't get one and then I saw the same exact card there from the same sellers 808 Logan Webb autograph and a nice sepia Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card very very nice obsessed collector says what's your next card you're going to be after well that's a great question it's going to be another rookie hall of famer and uh, I've got Clemente on my list and uh, Hank Aaron, it's probably going to be one of those two. Next up, we have Tyler Glass now. That's going to be a Tyler Glass now Mojo PSA 10 from 2017 tops. So Tyler Glass now in pack number three. Unfortunately, uh, Steve did not get the chaser. Nick's in the house. Hey, Nick says, good evening. Thank you for the auction last night. Great job as always. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Thanks, Nick. I really appreciate that, man. Thanks for sending all those. And, um, yeah, great stuff, Nick. So if you want to get together another collection, we'll be happy to do another one for you. Justin Harris has, like, a, it's like an 80-pound box here of binders and a whole bunch of stuff coming up. Jerry Fine, I just opened his package up. He has, like, Willie Mays, graded Willie Mays and Mickey Mantles in there, like actual vintage cards. There's an amazing Mike Trout autograph that he sent in to be auctioned off. Steve Bastian, or William Bastian, is up next. We'll see what we can find for you. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Good to see you. NSS said last night's auction was awesome. Thanks, man. And if you won anything in the auction, guess what? It's in the mail. I stayed up until 3 a.m. last night working on those, and then I continued working on them all day today. So everything's in the mail from last night. Every single one is out. Let's see what we can find here in spot number four for William. We have Zion Williamson right here. Zion Williamson rookie card. It is a, I don't know if that's a parallel or not. Looks like it might be some green in the background. Next, we've got a Roberto Alomar 88 Fleer Update rookie card. And if we flip this over, we will see we have the Justin Verlander rookie card coming up. There's Trent Grisham. Nice one right there. Future Hall of Famer Justin Verlander. We have an Alejandro Kirk Triple Relic Auto. Next auction will be probably, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, Thursday this week. Alejandro Kirk and Ramon Laureano Gold rookie card. All right, here's where most of the uh, value is going to fall in this pack. It's going to be a Power Producers card of Juan Soto, and that is going to be a PSA 10 of his rookie card, Power Producers 2018 Bowman's Best. Power Producer card right there, Juan Soto for William. I haven't seen that rookie card before. I was really bummed out. I was watching a really nice auction on eBay of um, Juan Soto rookie cards. There's like a lot of them, like nine of them. And I was snoozing and missed it. It ended up selling for like 600 some bucks. It would have been an absolute steal. All right, next, pack number five. This is for Ryan. Ryan 
Co-op. Cop. Super Chat from Stemmer's Hits says, Hey, Jabs, Timmy pitched in Top Gun All-Stars six innings. This weekend had a 3.7 ERA with one hit, three earned runs, five walks, four Ks with a 250 batting average. Hope he makes All-American. Very nice, man. I'll tell you what, um, I love uh, I love Little League Baseball. It's uh, it's great. Travel baseball is great. And uh, we, may, we might have to... We got another tournament this weekend. I might have to change my schedule around maybe on Sunday and maybe move some maybe move the auction to Saturday or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Mort Live says, you keep having these great consignment auctions and I'm trying to save money for Tops Update. Mort Live, thank you very much. Yeah, well, people keep sending the stuff in. It's great, uh, great stuff to be auctioned off. Next up at pack number five for Ryan. Let's see what we can find here. We have a heavy metal card here. It is a D. Snyder from Twisted Sister Autograph. I don't know who that is, but uh, he might be popular. I don't know much about heavy metal. Dave Rango knows who it is, so that's awesome. We got Max Scherzer, Dylan Cease rookie card. That one's going to be numbered out of 99. We've got Trent Grisham out of 25 right there. Starling Marte, Chrome, and the Kid. The Marte, by the way, is out of 50. Ken Griffey Jr., score traded. Great card right there. I like that one a lot. At one point, I had 30 of this card in a PSA 10 back in, like, 2017. I bought them for, like, I think $10 a piece or something really, really crazy low. Maybe it was $20 a piece, and I sold them for $30 a piece. All right, next up, we've got the Tatis. It is a Fernando Tatis from 2019. It's a PSA 10 of Tatis. From 2019 Heritage High Number in that one. So thank you very much, Ryan. Next up, spot number six. This one is going to go to Noah. Noah Schottler. Good luck to you. Let's see if we can find it in our sixth pack. There's that wacko pack once again. Don Blomdahl's in the house. Hey, man. We've got the wacko pack first. Domingo Ayala. That's going to be a short print from... Oh, it's his autograph. Domingo Ayala right now. Domingo Ayala. That is going to be... Uh, John Winkler says, in my opinion, non-baseball should be dumped from this. The wacko packs. People aren't a fan of them. Let's... Uh, well, there's some. There was a nice one earlier with Rob, Rob Gronkowski. I'm sure. Uh, hopefully, Richard takes your considerations into mind. We have a Ryan Sandberg. Dave loves the Wacko Pack. Sandberg rookie card from '83. Don Russ. Let's see what else we have here. There's a Kyle Tucker first. This one's going to be a parallel, but not numbered. We got an A Rod 1994 SP. Reed Detmer's out of 150 blue. That's his rookie auto. Like that one a lot. And we've got Pete Alonso. That's a numbered Pete Alonso rookie out of 250. 250. And Patrick says, hey guys, the Wacko Pack was in the description. All right, so let's see what else we can find here for Noah. Our PSA card is going to be a Luis Robert 2019 Bowman Mega Box Mojo Chrome card. It's a PSA 10 right there. So that's the next hit. Thank you very much, Noah. Bossman says, when are you sending out the subscription pack to me for Patreon? That's probably going to be the middle of the month. That's usually when I get that done. So unfortunately, no, no, I did not hit the chase card there. The chasers, the Nolan Ryan and the Wander Franco, PSA 10. Pack number seven. This one's going to be for Todd. We'll get your name put on this. Good luck to you, Todd. Spot number seven. Pack number seven. There's your Wacko Pack. Here's the Slab Card. Let's see what we can find. There's a Ken Griffey Jr., 1989 Tops, or not Tops, sorry, Donruss rookie card. I don't know why I have Tops on the brain right now. We've got a Max Kepler rookie card of Sepia from Tops Crone. Billy Wagner, 1994 Upper Deck. An Inception, Kyle Tucker, Inception Rookie Patch Auto right there. Very nice one right there. That's numbered out of 25. 
And then we have Taiwan Walker out of 50 right there. Wacko pack. For those of you who like that, let's see who it is. Kyrie Irving is going to be the hit right there from Mosaic. Here's the slab. Let's see if you get the Wander PSA 10. It is going to be a Jack Flaherty. Jack Flaherty PSA 10 is going to be the hit right there. Jack Flaherty PSA 10 rookie card in Chrome from 2018 is the next one up. So thank you very much. Jerry Font says, what was the frog doing on the baseball field? He was catching flies. <laughs> Good one there, Jerry. Thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Todd, unfortunately, didn't hit the, uh, did not hit the chaser. Next up, pack number eight. This is going to be for Joey Dunyon. Spot number eight coming up next. Let's see what we can find in this one. All right, so in this next one, we got the Wacko Pack here. Let's see what we've got in these. Hey, Jerry, how's it going? There's a Barry Larkin rookie card. Keith Newro says, Sepia is better than Sepia. So, yes, I'm pronouncing it, I guess, the correct way now, Keith. And uh, that's just one of those words that uh, you say wrong, and then you just continue to say it wrong over and over again. There's a Pujols out of 999. It says, Timeless Moments. Let's see what else we have here. Josh Rojas. Rookie auto, there's Key Brian Hayes, blue, and there's Jackie Robinson out of 299. Zach says one of the hundred dollar state classy pack ship, and I ship most most of them, but yours is still on the shelf. I just have not got to it yet. I'll try to get it out by the end of the week. But that'll be going soon. I think most of those have been sent out. There's maybe like eight breaks left that I have not got to yet, and yours is one of them. Johnny Knoxville, throwing out the first pitch, is the wacko card. And for Joey, we have a, it's a Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman out of 199. It is an X Fractor rookie relic right there. Very cool. Freddie Freeman rookie dual relic. It's a PSA 10 dual relic X Fractor hit right there of the Freeman dual relic. So that's pretty cool. Great card right there. So I believe that was one of the chasers. So congratulations on that one, Joey. At spot number nine. Nolan Ryan rookie card hit and the Wander Franco chasers are still out there. Let's see what we can find in this next one up, spot number nine. This one is going to go to Jerry Fine. So are you ready, folks? Let's see if Jerry's going to get lucky enough to find one of the big chasers. Randy says, that Freeman card is a fantastic card, Richard. That was a good one. Let's see if we can find in this one. Hopefully there's going to be no Dave Magadan autos in this. All right, let's see. We've got Jerry Fine. That's uh, Jerry Rice for Jerry Fine. And Jerry Fine with a $50 Super Chat says, buying some luck. Fingers crossed. Jerry, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Let's see if it does bring you some good karma. I feel like we just hit a chaser right before this, so I don't know. Maybe, just maybe. We'll see. We've got Larry Walker, rookie card, leading things off. We've got, wow, that's a good one right there. Pete Alonso, green rookie out of 99. That's I think that was one of the uh, listed cards. Is Look out for this one. Pete Alonso out of 99, rookie card. Tyler Anderson out of 750. Seth Brown autograph. We've got a... A meaningful material out of 50 Byron Buxton relic, and there's a Bo Jackson rookie card. So here's where here's where it's going to come down to for you. It's going to be an Aloy Jimenez. It is a Chrome PSA 10 of his 2019 Chrome rookie card for Jerry. So Jerry, unfortunately, did not have the uh, the good luck there in the slab pack. At least you got the uh, the uh, people launch out of 99. But did not hit one of the big chasers. But thanks for the support, Jerry. Next up, next up, spot number 10. This one's going to be for Chris Hall. We'll put Chris's name on this. Let's see what we can find here for you. Here's his keep from my next auction. Okay, we'll just I'll just take the entire box and just toss it into the consignment stack right behind me there with your other stuff. 
All right, so Chris Hall, thanks, Jerry. Let's see what we can find for you here. YTJ says, with all due respect, I don't think these are close to $200 returned for the non-hits. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on uh, some of these, some of the non-hit packs, like uh, Jack Flaherty PSA 10 is, uh, you know, there's a Kirby Pocket, and wow, Adam Snitzer has a trade alert. Cardinals trade for Jose Quintana from Pittsburgh, so you just took our ace. So we've got Pocket, we've got a Mark McGuire right there. We got Trey Turner Blue, Alex Bregman out of 199, and Whit Merrifield. This one is going to be this is out of five. This is out of five right here. Whit Merrifield out of five. We've got a wacko pack as well. Let's see what we have in this one. This is going to be a Roger Federer tennis card. Don't know much about him. It might be his rookie card because it's from 2003. And next up, we have a Gavin Lux PSA 10 in this one. So, yeah, definitely, Richard, these are the uh, the non-hits aren't anywhere near close. Unless that uh, Roger Federer, that's nowhere near a $200 return right there. But, unfortunately, didn't get the hit right there, Chris Hall. Next up, spot number 11. This one is going to go to Sean Verwold. So, Sean, good luck to you. We'll see what we can find in this pack coming up now. There's the Wacko pack. Jerry, Fizz, not, Jerry Fon says, not plugging my next auction or anything, but the SGC Ryan rookie card, different graded mantles, Willie Mays, Trout, update uh raw i pulled fresh and other goodies are all in there so i can't wait to check that one out so let's see what we can find in this next one the wacko pack is going to have a john calipari who uh is uh maybe that's uh yeah i don't know who that is basketball coach let's see what we've got in this next one we've got a tony gwynn rookie card We've got a Don Mattingly. That's going to be a Mattingly 85 second year card. Ian Happ, rookie from a hot box. We've got Tyler Malley out of 99. And we've got Charlie Blackman. That's going to be a red numbered out of 50. The Federer actually sells for 100 bucks, So that Federer is actually pretty good. So that's good because when I saw that Gavin Lux in there, I just... Uh, I just closed my eyes for a minute and uh, like, what, like, what is that? So next up, we've got a Kyle Tucker. This is going to be a PSA 10 of his 2015. It is this sky blue Kyle Tucker coming up next. First Bowman card from Chrome for Sean. Coming up next, spot number 12. This one is going to be for Enrique is coming up next. Enrique, we'll see what we can find for you in this next one. Good luck. We'll see what we can find for you in here. See if we can get a spacer. Obsessed says, do you feel there's way too many 2019 to 2021 PSA 10s? Yes, there does seem to be a bunch of those. The mix, do I think that's the case? Um, as of right now, the non-hits, definitely no. All right, so next up, let's see what we can find in this one. We got a Dylan Cease rookie card right there. Bryce Harper rookie card. Yulieski Guriel purple. That one's going to be out of 250. We've got Justin Verlander out of 99. And a Ken Griffey Jr., 1989 Bowman is the last one, his rookie card there. Next up, we have a Wacko Pack. This is going to have a Joe Burrow. That's a Joe Burrow rookie card. And our slab. Let's hope it's a good one. It is a Beau Bichette. It is a Beau Bichette PSA 10 refractor from 2020 Finest. So Beau Bichette PSA 10 right there is the last one. For pack number 12, I'm still looking for the Nolan Ryan. Tony says, we're all used to stuff like Stay Classy Packs. I think the Stay Classy Packs have kind of uh, spoiled everybody. 
And uh, yeah, definitely the state classy packs were definitely in a league of their own. And um, we also have like the uh, the new row packs. I think are really really great as well. Next up, Thomas, Thomas, Bordenaro coming up next. Let's see how we can go, or how we can do in this one. Stay classy all day, every day, for most people is what they're saying. Hopefully, um, we'll have the Stay Classy 250 round coming up, and maybe another round of 100s. I haven't heard from Bryce. Last time I heard, he was going out to the National to try to grab a whole bunch of stuff for the next round of Stay Classy, so we'll see. Next, we have a Cheater's License. Which, uh, I don't even know what this, uh, you can take this into school and cheat on your tests. It's a garbage pail kit. It's the Atom Bomb card, which actually might be somewhat valuable. I know that the Atom Bomb card is a pretty friggin' great card. So I don't know much about these, uh, these wacko cards there. Next up, we've got a Dave Winfield. It's gonna be a Dave Winfield 1974 Tops rookie card. Jeffrey says... Her truck says that Joe Burrow is like a $50 card. Very, very nice right there. We've got Adrian Beltre, Bowman's Best. We've got a Dylan Carlson Gold rookie card. The Atom Bomb is huge money. Jerry says that he's hurting after his mystery box. And Eli says, hey, Eric, thank you once again for all the great family-friendly content with lots of education, laughs, and a few heart attacks during those showdowns. It says, thank you, thank you, thank you from Elijah and Jessica. Thank you very much, guys. Hopefully you had a nice trip and uh, we're able to enjoy the Saturday showdown a little bit later. We've got Luca Tresh. We've got Tony Gonsolin. That's his rookie auto, so that's a nice one right there. And Fernando Tatis as well in that one. All right, so next up, the slab. Please don't be Kyle Lewis. It is a Juan Soto PSA 10. It was 2018 Tops Update Legends in the Making rookie card. Dave says, can you tell me what year the uh, Atom Bomb is? It's a 1985. So this one could potentially be worth, uh, I don't know, $100 or more. I don't even know. So some of these Wacko cards have quite a bit of value to them. We're just Maybe we're just missing the mark on those. About a 1985 Atom Bomb. Uh, Dave says, that is actually a really good card. Obsessed Collector says, $125 card right there. So it looks like Richard, who put these together, definitely had some great Wacko cards in his collection. All right, next, it's an Epic Garbage Pail Kid card, says Tony. Number 14, this next one is for Nathan. So Nathan, go ahead and write your name on this and see what we can find for you. Anthony says, love the channel. Thanks. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, man. Thanks for watching. Got a wacko pack in this one. And White Sox Tom says that's the holy grail for Garbage Pail Kids right there, that Atom Bomb card. So, I don't know. Maybe go and toss that one on eBay. We've got a Wally the Green Monster autograph. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Wally the autograph. I know that uh, finding autos aren't that easy. Is this from opening day? I, don't even, I think this is a top certified mascot auto right there it's not even an opening day card i've never seen that before so definitely the wacko cards are pretty interesting Kyle Ripken jr rookie card and uh we've got a jose canseco 86 don Russ card right there jerry says this should come with uh some kentucky fried chicken ouch we've got a jordan alvarez that's gonna be a gold card i like gold rookie cards We've got Pete, Alon Pete Alonso autograph. Very nice. So there we go. This pack's getting a little bit better now. We got a Yordi out of uh, 2020 gold. We got a Pete Alonso gold cup auto. And we've got a Steven Strasburg blue. So that's out of 150. All right, let's see what the slab is. Your slab, Nathan, it's going to be a Ronald Acuna Jr. in 2019 Topps Chrome. In a PSA 10, future star card right there of Ronnie, Ronald Acuna Jr., the last one. All right, so still looking for the Nolan Ryan. We're 14 packs through out of 15. We'll keep on looking for the Nolan Ryan. And the big card, I think the most valuable card is going to be that rookie patch auto of Wander Franco, which is like a $2,000 card. Let's see what we can find coming up next in pack number 15. This one is going to be for Richard Turner. Good luck to you, Richard. 
Richard Turner. Let's see what we can find in this next one. A no quit says, I feel like you're all being negative Nancy's on this. I just opened up $300 of hobby boxes and guess what? I got like $25 in return with no hope for a Nolan Ryan rookie card. That's true. Depending on how you look at it, that is true for sure. Anytime there's a chase card, anytime there's a chaser, the, if you don't get the hit, if you, don't, if you don't get a chaser, unfortunately, you're not going to get your return on your investment because if you've got a $2,000 Wander Franck in there, $1,200 uh, Nolan Ryan, you know, the value from the other boxes go into that one and the, all the other boxes go down in value. That's just the way all these mystery packs seem to go. I am a little disappointed because I did text and ask what was the return for non-chaser packs. And uh, I was told 200, but that's not been the case. At least maybe I'm missing out because I don't know anything about the, the Wacko cards. Some of these Wacko cards have been quite valuable. This is a Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps uh, rookie card, 2012 maybe. I see Jerry Fine donated 10 bucks. Thank you, Jerry. I really I didn't see what you said, but uh, remember, Heather's kids are watching, so let's keep it uh, PG. Let's see what we've got. There's a Ryan Sandberg rookie card. And uh, Jim's calling it Nolan Ryan. is box 30 for his jersey number. Ryan Sandberg. Let's go ahead and see what else we have. There's a Jose Siri out of 50 inception. We've got Mookie Betts gold. Vladimir Guerrero, that is a blue rookie card, numbered. Uh, I guess it's not numbered, it's the blue parallel. Greg Jeffries, what is that doing in there? Greg Jeffries, 89 tops card. Has uh, almost a little troll job there, maybe. And there's the Greg Jeffries 88 Fleer update with his autograph on there. So a PSA 9 Adam Bomb went for $2,300 on eBay. Which, uh, so there's an ungraded atom bomb in here. So, great Jeffries for Richard Turner. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. Dave says, this has got to have the Ryan in it. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the tip off. A Greg Jeffries. It's Tyler Glass now. PSA 10 from 2017 Topps Chrome in a PSA 10. So, unfortunately, no Nolan Ryan in that one for Richard. Continue on. That Josh, that, that Michael Phelps is two hundred dollars in a ten. So yeah, it looks like some of these wacko cards. A lot of the value, maybe we're missing the value on the wacko cards. So I'm glad people are looking up some of these uh, wacko card values for me. Next up, we have Nick Miller. It's spot number sixteen. Let's see what we can find for you, Nick, in spot sixteen right now. Jerry Fine with a five dollar super chat said, "Fingers crossed for the Todd Van Poppel 1991 upper deck banger." Thank you, Jerry. Oh, you, we can make a whole line of those. How about eighty nine? What are other just disappointing rookies? Eighty nine. Uh, Jerome Walton, eighty nine Bowman, Jerome Walton, nineteen ninety Todd Zeal. Next, we've got a Fanimation card here. From Upper Deck, I have no idea what this is, but it looks like it might be Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Carl Malone. Fanimation from uh, 1993. Brian Taylor, Mark Grace, rookie card. I hate that Grace rookie card with a passion. 88 Fleer, that card haunts my dreams. That's like 100 boxes of World's Greatest Pack Chase to get a redemption, to get one of the cards on the front of the box, and it ended up, ended up being a redemption for a Mark Grace, which is worth less than the cost of the postage stamp that it would be to send it in. There's Nick Solak. We've got Bernie Williams, rookie. There's a Jack Flaherty. That one's out of 199. And we've got Bryce Harper out of 199 as well. There's double slabs in here, a bonus slab. We have a Walker Bueller rookie card and a PSA 10 rookie performers. Walker Bueller. And the bonus slab. Let's see what we've got for you in this one. This is going to be. A, oh, there it is. There it is. There's another one of the chasers. The Mike Schmidt rookie card in an SGC6. Mike Schmidt, 1973 tops rookie. There it is. So another card off of the chaser list. This one goes 
to the very lucky Nick Miller. So congratulations on finding this one. Coming up next, we still are looking for Wander Franco's rookie patch auto. And there's also Nolan Ryan that we're looking out for. That's one of the another one off the chaser list. The whole list of all of the chase cards was put on Patreon. So I, I don't have the list in front of me to tell you who's still left. I just know that those were the big two. And uh, Steve Carlton and Mike Schmidt were also on that list as well. All right, next up, spot number 17. This one's going to be for Chris. Chris, let's see what we can find for you here. And let's see what we've got. Wacko pack right there. No Nolan Ryan rookie as of yet. All right, so... We have for you a Kyle Schwarber is going to be a PSA 10 rookie card. Atomic Rookie is going to be the hit. Kyle Schwarber, PSA 10 from 2016 Bowman's Best. Going a little out of order there. Started off with the slab first. Now let's check out the Wacko Pack card. It's going to be John ja Morant, who's a name that uh, I've heard of before. It's his rookie card in a pink, John ja Morant. And the Greg Jeffries was autographed, the 88 Barry Bonds rookie card from 86 tops traded on the back. Ozzy Smith is on the front. Ozzy Smith, 79 tops rookie. That's a good one. There's Blaze Jordan out of 199. We've got Nick Madrigal autograph. We've got Joe Musgrove just signed a big extension, I think. What, $100 million, something like that? First Bowman card. And we've got the Barry Bonds rookie card there as well to go along with the John Morant in the next box there. Moving on to the next one. This next one is going to be box number 18. Box number 18, this one is going to Kyle Poppy. So, Kyle Poppy, best of luck to you. Spot 18. Still looking for Nolan. Uh, CLG says, remember I found the 68 Nolan Ryan rookie card last year at Facebook Marketplace and sold it for $10,000. That's crazy. What a nice flip right there. Y2J says, I am gun shy about buying modern slabs now. Prices have went down so far. I'll tell you what, me too. I'm, I'm a little nervous, but when I see a Ronald Acuna PSA 10 rookie card for 50 bucks, I'm buying it. Like, I don't know where the floor is on the modern stuff. I don't know if it's going to go down to nothing, but uh, the, uh, the junk slab era that many of you predicted, you were right. So if you predicted that, Pat yourself on the back. Got a Randy Johnson rookie card. And we have a numbered Tatis. Very nice. An X-Fractor Tatis rookie from 2019. Tops Chrome out of 199 Cool card right there. We've got Victor Gonzalez autograph. We've got Jared Kelnick and John Oliver, 1990 Leaf rookie card is in there as well. The Wacko Pack is going to have a Dan Marino rookie card. 1984 Dan Marino? That's pretty cool. So, nice one right there, Dan Marino. There's the back of the card. It's from the NFL star set right there. Kevin Morley says, thought you'd appreciate this. I won two spots in a chase break for the 2022 Members Only Stadium Jeter Edition. $30,000 box that I pulled a 1-1 one -one Jeter auto. That's pretty awesome right there. Congratulations on that one. And the next hit, it's going to be a lean door. It's a PSA 10 from his rookie year. Actually, that's not his rookie year. 2015's his rookie year. 2017 Topps Chrome Future Star of Francisco Lindor. So the Atom Bomb card might actually be the best card of the night in a PSA 10. We just got a report from one of our subscribers. They'll have to comment. So a PSA 10 of that Atom Bomb card from 1985 is a $4,000 card in a PSA 10. So that, that might end up being the best card of the night. So whoever ended up with that one, send that off to PSA. Get that graded. I hope you get a 10. I hope you get... Uh, 4000 bucks for it. That would be pretty awesome. Maybe, uh, so if a $4,000 is it, it's a 10, 4000 maybe a 9 is like, what, two grand? It's still pretty cool. Next up, this is going to be pack number 19. It's for Ryan West. We're going to let you all vote on this product. I'm going to let you all grade this product at the end of this break, so stay tuned. We'll have a poll that we put up in the live chat. But we got to see it through because there's still some big cards coming up. Jay Harris. There's Justin Harris. Says, For the next Jay Claus, do you want the hitbox to have a 2022 Tom's J-Rod rookie auto out of 199 and 
a 2022 Bobby Witt Jr. Auto out of 199 or would you rather have a 2022 Witt Jr. Red Auto out of 25 and a Wander Gold Auto? Man, that's tough. For me, I'd probably rather have the J-Rod and the Witt. Um, how about we let you guys vote right now? So everyone look at Justin Harris's $50 Super Chat. He's asking you all a question. What you'd, He's going to have another round of... Uh, we've done, I think, six of his Mystery Pack series so far. He always puts big chasers in there. We'll let you vote. Based on his $50 Super Chat that he just put up there, you have two options. So what do you want to look out for? I'm going to go ahead and put a poll up right now. I'll just take a little intermission here. Uh, for the next J. Claus chasers, would you rather have the J. Rod and Wit combo, or would you rather have the Wit and Wander chasers? You guys vote right now. I'll ask, your, I'll ask the community. The poll is going live right now. You can vote on that. I like that little poll feature. So Ryan West, spot number 19. The poll has just come up, and look at this. We may have another Garbage Pail Kid. It is a Wacky Jackie from Garbage Pail Kid Sapphire. Wacky Jackie. Uh, all right, so I don't know much about Garbage Pail Kids. It looks like everyone's with me on that poll. It's J-Rod and Wit by a mile. 84% people going after the J-Rod and Wit. Is, uh, nobody really cares about Wander anymore. It's pretty crazy. He still has a lot of upside. Ronzi Contreras, that's a great autograph right there. He's one of the Pirates' top young pitchers. Dustin May rookie card. That is a short print with the little elf boot. Freddie Freeman parallel and Sean Murphy. That is a red out of 199. So let's see what we've got in this next one here. The next hit, it's going to be a Jack Flaherty. It's a Jack Flaherty autograph. Rookie auto from Sapphire. So that is pretty nice right there. I just got scared for a minute. I thought it was just going to be a regular Jack Flaherty PSA 10, but this is no ordinary PSA 10. That is his rookie auto, and it is from Sapphire. So very nice one right there. PSA 10 of Jack Flaherty. So cool card right there. So, Justin, I think you've got your answer to your Super Chat. Thanks very much for the Super Chat. Looks like the, uh, the crowd here has spoken. I'm going to go ahead and end that poll right now. 83% would rather have J-Ron and Bobby Witt Jr. as the chasers in the next j Claus Mystery Packs. 82 to 17%. It was a blowout of epic proportions. All right, next up, spot number 20. This next box is going to go to... Well, i got to go back to my random.org page. And this is going to be for Richard Myers. For Richard Myers, we'll see what we can find for you in spot number 20. Hope it's some good stuff for you. Jerry Fine with a $20 Super Chat says, thoughts on Blaze Jordan? Well, he was hyped up early because he was a 14-year-old kid hitting bombs in uh, wherever that was, Tropicana Field. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know much about Blaze Jordan except uh, I haven't really followed him at all. So Red Sox fans out there, Dave Durango and other Red Sox fans, what do you think about Blaze Jordan? I know he's got some value to his cards. And Clinton says, hey, not even 20% of us have hit the like button. So thanks, everybody. We've got over 1,000 people in here right now. Thanks for joining us on this Mystery Box Monday Live. There's Randy Rose Arena, pink rookie card. Sean Murphy out of 199. We've got Alex Bregman and Barry Larkin rookie card. The Wacko Pack is going to have a Kobe in there. It's a Kobe Bryant. It's going to be from 2019 Panini. Looks like it might just be a regular base prism card. And we have the Slab Pack. It is going to be a Shane Bieber. This is going to be his gold rookie card in a PSA 10. So pretty nice one right there. Shane Bieber cards have dropped off a bit, but uh, still a nice Bieber in a PSA 10. I love gold rookies in a 10, and that's uh, pretty awesome. So thank you very much, Richard. And we have a $50 Super Chat from Justin Harris that says, 2022 Tops J-Rod Black Auto and a Bobby Witt Jr. Black Auto it is. Thank you all. A Blaze Jordan. First Atomic Auto will also be in the packs. So the J-Claws going to juice up the packs a little bit this next round and uh, put some really nice chasers in there. I think he might also be maybe, uh, maybe I think he was talking about switching the kind of setup of it, maybe getting rid of some of the uh, you know lower end cards in the team bag and just going with maybe like all hits. 
Anyway, spot number 21. I can't wait for that next one. John Barker is coming up next at spot 21. John Barker, good luck to you. Let's see if we can find in this one. Got the Wacko Pack here. So, Wacko Pack cards have been the wild card in all these. San Diego Chicken card from Don Ross is going to be the hit there. Yeah, the, the orange glow. It's making my hands look orange. I know. It's just... Definitely an orange glow. Wow, Johnny Bench rookie card. How about that one? I was looking at this one a little bit at the National. A Johnny, that's in good condition. I don't see any creases in that one. Congratulations on that. A Johnny Bench rookie card, 1968 tops. There it is. Bobby Witt out of 99. We've got Casey Mize, a Bobby Dalbeck, and Clayton Kershaw is going to be out of 50. Very, very nice one right there. Steven says, is there any value in putting the Topps Platinum Anniversary set together, Steven? That's a great question. It's a huge set. I would say go on eBay and look what a set sells for. Check it out. See if it's worth it. Because, uh, honestly, I couldn't tell you. That's going to be a tough set to complete because the boxes are expensive. And a Ronnie, Raw Racuna Jr., that's a PSA 10 of his rookie debut from 2018 update. So, man, that Johnny Bench, great card right there. That's my favorite card of that pack by far. And it is in really great shape. Maybe think about sending that one in to get graded. Let me see if I can do... Um, I'm going to guess PSA... A little bit of white on the corners. Uh, I'm going to say a four and a half on that one. Maybe a five. That's just a guess. Just let me know what you think that card would get. John, thank you very much. Next up, spot number 22. This next one is going to Patrick Crawford. So, Patrick, you're up next. Good luck to you. Still looking for the Nolan Ryan and also the Wander Franco rookie patch auto. Here's the Wacko Pack. It's going to have a Jordan Shortprint. Very nice card right there. I love this card. The Jordan Shortprint from 1991 Upper Deck. That is a great card right there. I wouldn't even consider that a Wacko card. I consider that a nice baseball hit right there. Nolan Brooks just became a channel member. Thanks, Nolan. I really appreciate that. Thanks for signing up. Check us out for our next auction. Probably Thursday night, there's a Randy Johnson. 2000 or 1989 tops traded rookie. There's Casey Mize rookie in a pink tail strawberry 84 tops. Nice one right there. Jack Flaherty out of 299. We've got a Jesus Lusardo rookie auto and a Victor Victor Mace out of 25 in there as well. Let's see who the slab is going to be. But that bench card was nice. And we have a Raphael Devers Sepia Gem Mint 10 rookie card in there as the slab hit. So, nice Devers. Definitely a nice parallel of his rookie card. Congrats on that one. And we'll continue on to the next box. Spot number... Let's pull the next box down off the top. This one's pack number 23. It's for David Sklars. David Sklars. We'll see what we can find for you here. Pack number 23. All right, so we have the Wacko Pack, which is going to have a Scotty Pippen. So Bulls Angle on the last couple cards. That's a Pippen. I think it's uh, later in his career. So just maybe not. 1991. So I don't know what year Scotty Pippen's rookie card is, but that's a 91 Pippen. Campbell says, hey, guys, I picked this box for the Nolan. So we'll see if you end up being right. We've got a Mandy Ramirez. It's going to be a Kbert Rees there as well. Ramirez 92 rookie card. A Key Brian Hayes out of 75 rookie patch auto. That's a good card right there. Key Brian Hayes rookie patch auto. Reed Detmers out of 250. And a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card there. And a $100 super chat from Jerry. It says one word. Justin. So, <laughs> Jerry, thank you very much for the super chat. And he's... Uh, He's calling me, Justin. I think he might be excited for your next round of mystery packs. Jerry, thank you very much for that super chat, man. I really appreciate that. We got Yohan Moncada. That's a PSA 10 of his Topps Chrome rookie card. Refractor is the next one up in that pack. Jay Harris says, Love always win Mr. Fine. <laughs> Jay Harris is the members only super chat. Thank you very much, Justin. Spot number 24, Jason Simon. Still no Nolan Ryan. 
Still no Wander Franco, big rookie patch auto in a PSA 10. Jason Simon's up next. Got the Wacko pack right there. All right, so we've got a... Thanks, Jerry. I appreciate that, man. I guess YouTube does have limits. There's a Shaq rookie card, a Shaquille O'Neal rookie card with your Orlando Magic as the Wacko card. And we've got John Smoltz rookie card from 88 Fleer Update. That's a cool one. Don't see that one every day. We've got Robert Hassel out of 499. There's Nick Castellanos rookie. That's a green rookie auto of Castellanos back with the Tigers. Nick Madrigal rookie card. And Paul Goldschmidt back with the Diamondbacks from 2012. Zach says, hey, I sent in the Otani Big Head today to PSA. Very nice. We pulled that card for Zach a couple weeks ago in a Mystery Box Monday. And speaking of Shohei, it's Showtime. A Prism Refractor Shohei Otani PSA 10 rookie card. Great card right here. The Prism Refractor Parallel of Shohei. That's a good one right there. Congratulations on that find. That's definitely, uh, that's that was listed on the Chaser list as well. And there's another one off that list. Billy says, big money there. That one goes to Jason Simon. So Jason with the nice hit. Just says, Mankata, in my opinion, is garbage. Yeah, what's he hitting this for, like 206 or something like that? Spot number 25 in the halfway point of this break. This one is going to Anthony Plavik. Good luck to you, Anthony. Spot number 25. Let's see what we can find for you. I thought the Angels were done listening on Otani. Like, I, I I think they listened for a little bit, and they just decided not to trade him. All right, so Anthony, we have... We'll start with the baseball pack first this time, if I can find a scene. Frank Thomas rookie card is on the top. We've got a numbered Bo Bichette. It's going to come after a Joe Adele rookie auto, which is a very nice card right there. There's the Bichette numbered out of... 999. We've got a Luis Robert. That's going to be a pink parallel of Luis Robert and a home field advantage Mookie Betts. A case hit right there. And Dave, right on cue, says, What do you call Mookie Betts on Halloween? That's a cool card right there. Home field advantage. How about Judge just with his 43rd home run today? We got a LeBron James hit right here. Don't know much about this card. 2019 Luminance. Spooky Betts. Good one there, Dave. And we've got Juan Soto. This is going to be his 2018 Tops Update rookie card in a PSA 10. So Juan Soto is the next hit. Like that card a lot. I'm big on that card. I think that one's going to go up. And Jim, wow, Jim Connery says it's 2000. That's a $2,500 Otani. You serious? If the PSA 10 Prism is, it's, is that worth that much? Wow, that's a huge hit there then. Holy crap. I did not realize the Prism was worth that much in a PSA 10. So, yeah, definitely with a couple chasers up there, that is uh, – <laughs> TJ says, no, it's not. Now you're going to have me go and look it up and see what it's worth. $600 on the Otani. Still pretty good. Pack number 26 for James Walsh. James used his credit from the New Row Mystery Packs to purchase this one. He had – uh, some free credit. And James, let's see if you can continue the hot streak. Jerry Pine says, if Juan Soto was only mediocre, would he be Juan So-So? <laughs> Thank you very much, Jerry. He's been kind of mediocre this year. I hope he gets it turned around. He's hitting 243 last time I checked. Juan So-So. Still going to get quite a haul. The Otani's a $600 card, so we've got Larry Walker right there, rookie card. Next up, we got Dalton Varsho out of 75. We've got an Unleashed out of 999, Jose Abreu. There's a Pete Alonso. That's going to be a blue parallel of his rookie card. And Mike Trout, nice one right there. Mike Trout, 2014 tops, slide in there. That's a refractor of Trouty. And here's the PSA slab hit. It's going to be a Tatis. This is going to be a Tatis Tops now rookie card of his debut in a PSA 10. So cool card right there. Tatis, the market for Tatis has been way, way down. And now that he's coming back soon, hopefully his card will start to go back up. At least I hope so because I own quite a bit of graded Tatis cards. You just never know when... Uh, an injury is going to pop up and really bite you in the butt. Well, 
which is what happened with uh, Tatis. Next up, we have at least your, your investment. Ivan's up next, spot number 27. Maybe a Mike Trout. I bet you there's a Trout in this one, spot number 27. Everyone's saying the Yotani is a $600 card. That's still really, really good, 600 bucks. Great chaser right there. All right, so let's see what we've got in this next one. We have a wacko pack. We've got Justin Herbert. This is going to be a Justin Herbert, the rookies card right here. So probably some value to that one. I don't know anything about uh, football cards. And we've got a Derek Jeter rookie card leading things off. We've got Kyle Tucker. That's going to be his rookie. Number out of 25 from Bowman Platinum. Jeff McNeil autograph. A Sepia Luis Robert. I knew it. I knew there'd be a Mike Trout in this pack. A Mike Trout short print from 2020. Lee Hayes says, Nolan Ryan is in the Ventura box. Wouldn't that be something? What was Robin Ventura's number? I don't I don't know what his number was. I didn't follow his career that close. And another Juan Soto PSA 10. This one's going to be a Gem Mint 10 of his 2018 Topps Chrome update card. So cool card right there of Juan Soto to go along with your Mike Trout short print. Just says Soto with 21 dingers now. He's putting up the numbers. Batting average is a little bit behind where it should be. We'll see if he can get it all evened out by the end of the season. Next up at pack number 28. Star Cruz says Ventura wore 23. So, unfortunately, the Nolan Ryan was not in that one. I'm going to guess... How old did Nolan Ryan play till like... Probably like one, one of the late 40s, I bet. That's just my guess. I literally have no idea where it is. The only person knows where this... Um, where the hits are is going to be Richard Bailey who made these mystery packs. Richard Myers at spot number 28. Let's see what we can find for you. Got the Wacko pack right there. It's a thick Wacko pack this time, so there could be a potential one touch in there, and there is. It is a Shohei Otani. It is signed one of one. What is this? It is a one of one creation by artist Keith Kelly. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, that's pretty cool. A show. Hey, what is this? I've never seen this before. An artist took the card and I don't even know what he did with it, but it looks pretty freaking awesome. Show you Tawny. That's that's pretty cool right there. He signed it on the back. I have no idea what this is or where you would even find something like this at. It's a custom card from Keith Kelly. I don't know much. Dave says he's on Twitter and Instagram and he's great. So that's a nice hit right there. Jim Conroy likes it. Got the Greg Maddox rookie card in the pack here. Got a Goldschmidt blue. There's an Alejandro Kirk. The Goldschmidt's out of 99. Now, Kirk, a rookie auto. We've got Jose Arquiti, X-Fractor, and a Daryl Strawberry rookie card from 1984, Don Ross. Nice one right there. Like the Strawberry. A couple nice 80s cards. Let's see what we've got in here. We've got a Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card. It's going to be his PSA 10 2018 Topps Chrome. Ronald Acuna Jr. is the next hit right there. So thank you very much. Pack number 28 in the book, Richard. And we'll move ahead now to spot number 29. Spot number 29, this one is going to go to P. Wirt. Bat down, question mark. Uh, I have a bat down I'm giving away. Make sure you have your post notifications on and try to get the first comment in every video. Every time you get the first comment, you'll be entered in all throughout the month for that bat down. I figure that'd be a nice way to give that away. That way I don't have to read a million comments for every video, which um, literally it'd be like a couple thousand comments per video. Wayne Gretzky. Nice Gretzky there. Looks like maybe an 83 Tops card based off that design. It's an 84, 85 with a little face down there. I know nothing about hockey cards. But that little face reminded me of an 84 Tops card. We got a Kirby Puckett rookie card right there. We'll flip these around. We've got Ramon Laureano out of 299. That is a dual patch auto right there, dual relic auto. Bo Jackson out of 199, or 299. We've got Jesus Lusardo Refractor and a uh, Dustin Pedroia autograph there from the 2003 national team. Cool card right there of Petey. Let's see what the 
hit's going to be here. It's Nolan Arenado in a PSA 10 of his rookie card. So a nice one right there. DFS has that Gretzky card. Nolan Arenado, PSA 10. That's a cool one. I like that one a lot. Nolan Arenado, probable future Hall of Famer in all honesty. And Michael is on the same wavelength with me. He says future Hall of Famer right there. I agree with you. Next up, spot number 30. All through the, that column, we have two stacks left now to go through. All right, so this one is going to go to, we got Aaron was randomized this. <laughs> Jerry says, Justin, it's your time to donate. Thank you very much, Jerry, for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Uh, Justin has donated uh, a really nice consignment over here that we're going to have, as, as, as well as you, Jerry. So you guys have two great collections that we'll be going through. Aaron Roach up next at spot number 30. Let's see what we've got in this next one. Here's the Wacko Pack. It's the Bow card. This is a great card. The Bow card from 1990 score. An iconic card from that era. Always liked that card. And uh, it's pretty valuable right now in a PSA 10. And the Mick says, Eric, I'm pretty sure Justin Fine won the Mega Millions, which is like $1.3 billion. Brennan, the Acuna bat down is a $400 card. We're giving that away at the end of the month. Um... It's going to be every time you leave the first comment on any of my videos, you'll be entered in. It's all, it's an, it's the August giveaway. How about a Griffey right there? Griffey rookie card from 89 Upper Deck. That's a great card. We've got a Luis Patino Mojo Auto. Key Brian Hayes Purple, number out of 150. Austin Wells, Mojo Auto. Jazz Chisholm rookie card. And a Mike Trout Prism Refractor is the last one right there. Jerry, with the $10 super chat says, Justin. Thank you very much, Jerry. There's Shane Bieber. That's his rookie card. It's a pink. PSA 10 of Shane Beaver is going to be the hit there. In spot number... Was that 30? Yep, Aaron Rose is spot number 30. So we'll go ahead and put those back in your box just to make it easier for me. Moving on next, spot number 31. This one is going to go to Travis Hill. Travis, thank you very much. There's still, think about it now. Justin says, I don't answer to $10 Super Chats. <laughs> I think Jerry, Jerry might be tapped out. There's limits, I guess, on uh, Super Chats. You can only do so much per, I think it's 500 per day. I don't know what the weekly limit is. But uh, thank you very much, Justin, for that. There's... There's, uh, there's Travis Hill, spot number 31. You got a 1 in 20 chance here. Let's see what we can find. New Future says, awesome video jabs. Good luck all. Can I get some people to hop on over? Uh, handing out a bunch of sealed sports packs for 1K. Yeah, guys. That's cool. I hope you guys will check out New Future a little bit later on tonight. And uh, check out that giveaway there. Celebrate his 1,000 subscriber. Very cool stuff right there. Thank you very much. For the super chat, and Jerry goes to twenty. Says Justin, <laughs> we got a Pokemon card right here. J thank you very, very much for the super chat, Justin. I really appreciate that. Nolan Ryan is still out there, Vinny. So now it's a one in nineteen or one in twenty chance. I don't know anything about this, but it's a Charizard, which I, I think that's a decent Pokemon card. Charizard. I, I have no idea how I would even look this up. Jason says I'm calling it now. Nolan is going to be in pack number thirty-four. Pack number 34 would be for Lake Houston. I had to double check to see if uh, if that was going to be your pack, but it's not. So maybe. Uh, call it uh, call it a good guess if you're right. Got John Aheim after the chipper rookie card. Alec Bohm, Bo Jackson rookie, and Manny Machado out of 99 right there as well. Let's check the slab. The slab is going to be a Fernando Tatis Jr. It is going to be the hot box right there, so very nice. A hot box parallel and a PSA 10 from 2019. So Fernando Tatis hot box card. Southern Gaming says all Charizards are worth a decent amount. Justin Harris with a $100 Super Chat. He says Jerry. So he has answered... Jerry's call and a hundred dollar donation from Justin Harris. <laughs> no quit says he did it. He answered and uh, thank you very very much for that. I really appreciate that, Justin. 
Super White Sox Tom says Super Chat Wars. I really appreciate that, man. And I cannot wait to check out the next round of Jay Claus with a J Rod auto in there and a Bobby Witt auto in there as well. Here's spot number 32. This one's going to be for Y2J. That's AKA James Janata. So, Y2J, let's see what we can find for you here in pack number 32. Maybe we'll get lucky. And Jerry Fine answers with a $100.10 super chat and says, Justin, the super, we have a super chat war indeed. And uh, Jerry has answered back with a $100 super chat with 10 additional cents. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate all the support. <laughs> Let's see if we can find that Nolan Ryan here and see if that brings the Nolan Ryan out. Uh, no quit says, this is pandemonium. We have Harry Carey right here. That's gross. Uh, <laughs> Harry Carey. And let's see what we've got in this one. We've got a Frank Thomas 1990 scorecard right here. We've got Tyler Glass now autograph, Kyle Lewis Red. That's out of 372. There's Joey Gallo, Speckle Refractor rookie card. And <laughs> Kurt, uh, Court, Kurt, Court says, I win the war. $2 super chat right there from Court. Thank you very much for that. And Justin Harris just answered back with 125 and says, Jerry, we should just pay pal him. I hate giving YouTube this much money. Rather, Eric Abbott. Justin Harris with a $100.25 super chat. To answer Jerry, thank you very much, Justin. I really appreciate that. Just this whizzing contest. Jerry says, my money don't jiggle, jiggle, it folds. Jerry, fine with the super chat as well. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't even know what to say. Uh, <laughs> but you just says, okay, open up my Nolan. How about this one? This is not a Nolan, but it is the Shohei Otani. So we get some good luck from the, the Super Chat War there. Brings a Shoyotani Gold Rookie card. That's an awesome hit right there. That's one of the uh, top cards in the chaser list here. I'm not sure what this one would go for, but I bet you this one would... I'm going to guess, what, $800 on this one? Maybe? I, I have no idea. Let me know in the, in the comments what this one goes for. It's a PSA 10. Maybe even more than that. The PSA 10 Ronald Acuna Jr., I asked about it at the uh, National. It was twelve fifty, and I feel like the Otani is worth way more. Maybe the, maybe this is worth fifteen hundred dollars. Dave says it's eight hundred in a ten, so an eight hundred dollar card right there. There you go. Very very nice. <laughs> Jerry says I'm totally tapped out. I'm gonna have to switch over to. Thank you very much, Jerry. I appreciate all the support, man. This is. For J Y2J, $800 to $1,000. $1,000 was the last sale. Y2J says, I'll take it. So there you go. A $1,000 card. The last sell sold one on eBay was actually for $1,200 there, according to Rob H. So definitely some big-time hits coming out of here. Uh, I know that, uh, once again, we'd love to see all Chaser, like, non-hit boxes. It would be awesome if they're all producing like $200 in value, but with $1,200 cards in here like that, and the Nolan Ryan is like $1,200 as well, it's just uh, just not going to... It's it's impossible. But that's that's an amazing, amazing hit right there. All right, so coming up next, the Herbert is incredible, says Rob as well. I don't, I don't even know what that's worth because I don't know. <laughs> no quits says Jeff is taking his kids to Disney World off the Super Chat War. I tried to go take the kids to Disney World actually in March. And uh, I just went down there, booked the plane and everything, went down there, went to drive into the park to buy tickets like a normal person I would assume w w would. And apparently you need to make reservations for Disney World. And we couldn't get in. We could only do Epcot. So I, f I was very, very sad. And Jerry Fine <laughs> just sent a PayPal of 200 bucks with the note attached. It says, um, says, um, I'm going to replace the word here. It says, stick it, Justin. Except instead of stick it, he says, uh, something that rhymes with, um, buck. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jerry Fon with a $200 Super Chat. Thanks very much for that, man. I really appreciate that. 
And uh, let's get a pack 33. David is up next. David Nutson at spot number 33. All right, so let's see what we can find in this next one at spot number 33. So looking for the Nolan Ryan, chances are increasing with every passing box. You have the Nolan, or the Wander Franco. There's a PSA 10 Wander Franco in here. We have the Crow. I feel like I've seen this picture. I feel like when I was in middle school, people were obsessed with this movie. And uh, this actor, I think died i think in making the movie i don't know i can't really remember but the crow card right there and we have the hits it's going to be randy johnson we've got a zach mckinstry zach mckinstry he just got traded to the cubs very nice one right there patch auto bautista to 499 and belly bombs and we've got a mike trout that is going to be a wow that's on the chaser list, too. The rated rookie Mike Trout. I've never seen this card before. Rated rookie. There's the back of the card. So I, I've never seen this one before. A Mike Trout 2000. A Mike Trout rookie card right here. Have you ever seen that one before? Season ticket Mike Trout rated rookie. That is a nice one right there. And coming up next in our lab we have a Luis Robert in a PSA 10 pink refractor but that Mike Trout is pretty awesome I don't know why I've never seen that one before I feel like maybe I should have grabbed one of those boxes and looked for his rated rookie in the 12 days of Troutmas so David congratulations on the rated rookie Mike Trout next up yeah that was a cool one here it is spot number 34 a lot of people were calling this one for the Nolan Ryan and 34 was randomized to go to Lake Houston. So Lake Houston, it's spot number 34. Let's see what we can find for you. I can see that also my laptop's getting a little bit low in battery. I have to plug this one in. See what we can find here for you, Lake. Let's see if this is going to be the Nolan Ryan. So we've got a wacko pack right here. You think this is it? My 2J? Wait, hey, you know what? It's, it's, I feel like this has got to be it. I mean, Houston is in the word, Lake Houston. I feel like if, if there's going to be a Nolan Ryan, it's probably going to be in this one. We have a museum age card here of Christopher Knight. Christopher Knight, I don't know who that is. He's an actor from the Brady Bunch, it looks like. And we'll see what we've got in this one. We've got a Robin Yount rookie card from 1975 tops. Very nice one right there. Also, there's a Patrick Wisdom. We've got a Vidal Brujan rookie patch out of 25. Patrick Wisdom gold card. There's a Key Brian Hayes parallel with the green rookie card. And a Mike Trump from Diamond Kings. All right, so Lake Houston. A lot of people think this is going to be the Nolan Ryan. Your name, is, your name has Houston in it, for Pete's sake. Nolan Ryan played a bunch of his seasons in houston but it is not the nolan ryan it is a bryce harper 2011 psa 10 of his 2011 bowman chrome that's a cool one right there bryce harper the next hit so for those of you that thought it was in pack number 34 you unfortunately were wrong at least on behalf of lake houston but fortunately on behalf of everybody else that's coming up. Spot number 35. This one is going to be for William Bastion. So you've got a 1 in 15 chance now. Let's see. I actually got a 1 in 7 chance at one of the two final big hits. Which is going to be a PSA 10 rookie patch auto of Wander Franco. And the Nolan Ryan rookie card. Let's go ahead and see what we've got in this one. Dave says he was on the original Brady Kids, but they fired him for eating a 1976 top card behind the set. All right, we've got the Alan Trammell and Paul Molitor rookie card leading things off. There's an Andrew Vaughn in here as well. A Craig Biggio, all of famer Craig Biggio out of 25. Craig Biggio. We've got Andrew Vaughn at purple. We've got a Ron Racuna Jr. pink rated rookie card and a Roger Clemens. 1985 tops there as well. Let's see what we've got in the Wacko pack. 
It is going to be Jalen Hurts as the Wacko card. Let's flip it over and show it to you. It's a Jalen Hurts rookie gear relic. I don't know much about football, so you'll have to let me know if that's any good or not. Now let's get on to the slab and see what we've got here. Matthew says, some of these hits are a lot better than the slabs. Yeah, it's not always the slab where the value's at. Sometimes it's just, uh, even in those Wacko packs, we've had some that have been, the best card's been the Wacko card. Raphael Devers, PSA 10 from 2016, Bowman's Best, top prospect, is going to be the hit right there. So congratulations on that one. All right, so we are now down to, what, 14 packs left? I guess it's actually 15 packs. Here comes pack number 36. Let's see what we can find in this one. In pack number 36, it is going to go to Cupid's Hawaiian Ice. That makes me uh, pretty hungry for some Hawaiian ice. Um, Timmy was eating some this weekend at uh, one of the Little League games, and it looked great. And I would have gone for it myself if not for, you know, his, uh, com his lips completely looking like lipstick after eating that. I didn't want to have red lips. All right, Wacko Pack up first. We got some guy named Tom Brady. Tom Brady, Elite Series card right there. As you know, he is probably the GOAT at the quarterback position in football. And we've got a Tom Glavin rookie card there from 88. We've got a Dalton Varsho rated rookie card. That one's numbered out of 99. Jonathan Daza, rookie auto. We've got a Brandon Woodruff. That's going to be his. Um, I think that's his 2019 auto. That would be 2018. I think that's his rookie year. Nice one right there. Alec Bohm. And we've got a Willie Randolph there as well to round things off. So now let's check out the bonus slab. Here we go. Starting things off, we have Edgar Martinez from Upper Deck High Number. That's a PSA 10 of the Hall of Famer, 89 Upper Deck. And now the bonus slab. Could this be the Nolan Ryan or the Wander Franco? Oh boy, it's an SGC. I bet you this is the Ryan because the Ryan is an SGC card. Is it? Is it? Is it? It's not. It's Ichiro's rookie card. How about that? Ichiro in an SGC nine. So Ichiro Suzuki's rookie card is the bonus. That's way better than the original slab in that. That's an awesome card right there. An SGC nine of Ichiro. I will take that over the Edgar Martinez all day, but you get both of them. So that's a good card right there. I love that Ichiro card. So pack number 36. Wes says, I've been saying 37 for an hour now. Come on, let's see what we've got in there. So keep it. Congratulations on that one. Let's move on to the next pack here. Pack number 37. This one's going to go to Team Torque. Team Torque Incorporated. Let's see what we can find for you right now. Got our wacko packs in there. It's going to be Justin Herbert, which is a big name. It's going to be a Justin Herbert rookie, and it's going to be, uh, I don't know what the parallel is. It looks like maybe an orange-red parallel. I don't know anything about football. A lot of you have been saying box 37. we got a Tony Gwynn rookie card from 83 Fleer in here. We've got a Brandon Lau red rated rookie. That one's numbered out of just 50. We've got a nice quad relic of Yachty out of 99. Uh, Jerry says, totally happy with all my donations going back to the channel. I've gotten to text Eric off the channel. He's a good dude supporting a friend. Jerry, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for all the support. We've got Dansby Swanson Prism and an Ichiro, another Ichiro. That's his Bowman rookie card there. So now let's go ahead and check this one out. It's going to be Walker Bueller. That's going to be his pink PSA 10 rookie card from 2018 Topps Chrome. So Walker Bueller, no Nolan Ryan there. If you called Nolan in that pack, you were wrong. And now the odds just keep on going up and up. There's 13 boxes left. Six and a half to one are the odds of finding one of the last two massive hits, which are going to be the Wander Rookie Patch Auto or the Nolan Ryan rookie card. All right, next up, spot number 38. This one was randomized to go to 
Enrique Armenta. So, Enrique, let's see if this is going to be the Nolan Ryan. JR is calling box number 42. Here we go. Enrique, good luck to you. There's the Wacko Pack. Now the X's. I've been saying 42 for 30 minutes now. No one's ever paying attention to me. We see you now, man. We'll see. 42 would be pretty cool. Maybe a Jackie Robinson in 42. All right, so we've got Nick Foles. That's going to be his X-Fractor rookie card right there. And from the hits, we've got Ken Griffey Jr., 89 Fleer. We've got a very nice Cal Ripken out of 99, dual relic. We've got C.J. Abrams, 2020 Don Russ. We've got Vladdy rookie card in a pink. And Will Clark rookie, he's, just, he's getting his number retired. I believe if, uh, maybe this weekend by the Giants. All right, the hit is going to be a Bryce Harper. That's going to be a Bryce Harper 2012 Tops update. Second year card right there, 2012 Bryce Harper All Star game card. NSS says, "Have you ever met the Marlins man?" I have not. I have. Uh, I think I was. Ma I maybe saw him like across the way at a game once, but uh, I never went up to him and said anything. I didn't know Marlins man was still a thing. He was a social media sensation back starting in like 2015, I think. He rose to fame for sitting behind the plate of the World Series, wearing that Marlins jersey and just standing out like a sore thumb. But uh, I didn't know he was still a thing. Marlins man, a very, very wealthy lawyer from Miami, who would always sit right behind home plate. Box number 39, Todd. Let's see what we've got here. There's only 12 boxes left, folks. Let's see what we can do. The mantle just passed $6.8 million. That's a new record now, right? New record, I think. I I'll tell you what, that seeing that SGC there in a 9.5, I knew it was going to set the record. And I just I had a feeling that it was going to pull everything else up with it. That's that's what happened last time that card set the record. And uh, that's that was a big reason why I just I pulled the trigger. I was like, you know what? Next year at this time, PSA ones are going to be like sixty grand or fifty five grand or whatever. So I had to do it before it was just out of my uh, you know out of out of reach forever. There's Walter Payton and Jerry Rice, two hits right there, nineteen eighty one and nineteen eighty eight. So some nice football cards right there for you. We've got a Robbie Alomar. This one's going to be his eighty eight. Don Russ, the rookie's card. We've got Brian Reynolds, Wilson Contreras, out of 75 there. Brian Reynolds, baseball star. That's a nice one right there. Barry Bonds rookie cards at the back, and this is a cool one. It is a Your Don Alvarez. I don't think I've seen this one before. I don't know if this is a photo variation or what, but it is a out of 99 rookie from Chrome. That's a great hit right there, in my opinion, of Barry Bonds. We only have 11 boxes left, so we're almost done. And the next hit, it's going to be Walker Bueller. And that's going to be his 2018 Topps Chrome rookie in a PSA 10. So now we're only down to 11 packs left. It's out there somewhere. This Nolan Ryan, I mean, it better be. If it's not in this, if it's not in here, I'll tell you what I'll have to do. If Richard forgot to stick it in there, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to buy one myself. And everyone in this will just have to have a. I don't know, big Saturday showdown with you all, and whoever gets the lowest number out of 50 packs would get it. I mean, that's that's literally what I would do if it's not in here. I I, I feel like it's in here. It's just, it's coming. It's it's coming. Here's pack 40. Thomas is up next. Thomas Petrosky. Spot number 40. Let's see what we can find for you. SGC is more strict. It's equal to a PSA 10. Wow, so that's, uh, hopefully it gets, I mean, on the PSA 10s, they're talking like 20, 30 million on the, on the PSA 10 Diamondbacks collection card of the mantle. Dr. James Andrews, who, uh, basically invented Tommy John surgery. That's pretty cool right there. Dr. James Andrews. I remember hearing that name all the time with Tommy John surgery from, uh, that's, is that 2017 Tops Archives? 2019 Tops Archives out of 99. A very, very nice one right there. And uh, let's see what else we have coming up. We got a Tim Raines 1981 rookie card. We've got Marcus Semyon out of 199, Glenn Davis on card auto. <laughs> I see that uh, Jerry Fine, who apparently is in a timeout right now, just, just donated money through PayPal and says, timeouts cannot stop me. 
Mwahaha, evil laugh. <laughs> Thank you very much for the uh, PayPal donation there, um, Jerry. I really appreciate that. Bobby Bradley, X-Fractor, and a an 89 Kurt Schilling rookie card. Here we go. Let's see. The, the bonus slab last time was a really big hit with an SGC Ichiro. Here we have Alex Bregman, who everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people dislike. That's out of 10. And here we go with the bonus slab. I feel like that's going to be a good one. PSA 10, and here we go. It's an SGC. Oh, there it is! There it is! It's the Nolan Ryan! There's the hit! It did come in box number 40, if you ever said it. And it's going to Thomas. So, Thomas, congratulations on this one. It is a Nolan Ryan rookie card, SGC 5.5. This card is worth about $1,200 or $1,300 from um, what I looked up. Uh, I think a five is maybe 1000 to 1200 And so I would bet this one's right around $1,200. There's the big chaser we were after. Even though the uh, Shohei Gold and the Wander Franco might even be worth more, I feel like this is just such an iconic card. And uh, now I want one for myself. This is an awesome card. I actually have this card. So I bought this card. I even went back and I, I was sitting here in a live stream. And I even went back and I found the receipt. I bought this card in like 2017. And uh, I lost it. I don't know where it is. I bought I bought a, a kind of a beat up one for 150, not graded. But um, this is a pretty awesome one right here. So you did it, man. You got the Nolan Ryan. And an SGC 5.5, a gorgeous looking card right there. My brother does have it. I asked him on the way to the National, I was like, hey, just so I know, did I give you the Nolan Ryan card that you have as a Christmas present? Because a lot of times I'll give him just um, give him baseball cards, like, you know, like rookie card and stuff that I know he would want for Christmas. And uh, he said no, he found it at a flea market. So it wasn't, uh, so I should still have it somewhere. It's probably in a box somewhere, which I'll never find. I'll probably just end up dumping it. Um, I have all these 5,000 count boxes. Watch it be in one of those. And I just end up like selling it for like 10 bucks just to get rid of the, the commons. And it's like mixed in with the commons. All right. Well, I don't know what I did with it. I've actually been looking for it now for like four years. Just like periodically. Like, I wonder if it's in this drawer. If I wonder if it's in that drawer. Like, where is it? Blake is up next at 41. There's still the Wander Franco rookie patch auto and a PSA 10, which is about a 1500 to $2,000 card. The mix says you'll buy all the commons boxes. Let's see what we've got in this next one here. We got the Wacko pack. And we've got a Rillaboom. Rillaboom Pokemon card right here. I don't know who Rillaboom is. So a pretty cool one right there. And we've got. Mike Messina, that's going to be his rookie card from 91 score. Jose Altuve out of 150. Andres Jimenez, rookie. Auto, that's a nice one of the all-star. Ramon Laureano Pink and then Eric Davis, rookie card from 85 Donruss. Still haven't pulled a wander yet. It seems like some of the big hits are, are the bonus slabs. we got a, a Nolan Arenado rookie card from 2013, Topps Chrome. So a nice one right there of the future Hall of Famer. So everyone left. You've got a one in like nine chance of pulling the Wander rookie patch on a PSA 10, which could be upwards of $1,500 to $2,000. So 41's in the books. On to 42. Wouldn't that be something? There's uh, some sort of Jackie Robinson hitting this one. I almost am expecting it. Court says, all jokes aside, I'd buy some of those Cummins boxes. Hey, if you want to buy some Cummins boxes and you're in the... If you want to come pick them up, I will meet you with them. I'm trying to clean out my garage. I've got two different types of Cummins boxes. I've got Cummins boxes where I've already sorted through them and I've picked out the top cards. And I've got other Cummins boxes that I've never even looked through. Obviously, the ones that are not picked over would be a little bit more. But if you want to buy my Cummins boxes, by all means, I would sell them to you. But you're going to have to come pick them up because there's a lot of them. Joe Francis is up next. Let's see what we can find for you. In this one, 
Wacko pack. It's going to be Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods Wacko car there from 2011 Goodwin Champions. And we've got a Wade Boggs rookie card, 1983 Tops. We've got the Grandy Man, Curtis Granderson. That's going to be a Mother's Day pink out of 50. Trevor Bauer autograph. That's an early one from his Diamondbacks days. That's his 2013, so a rookie auto right there. Jesus Sanchez, rookie auto. Max Kepler, hot box. And a Kenny Lofton, 92 Don Ross, rated rookie card. Let's check out the hit here and see what we've got in this one. It is going to be a Bryce Harper rookie card, PSA 10. Bryce Harper, 2012 tops. Love this card. For the Bryce Harper 2012 tops rookie card. I like that one a lot. And uh, so thank you very much, Joe. No rookie patch out of Wander in that one. Let's move on to 43. This one is going to be for Ivan Santana. Maybe this one will have the big hit in it. We'll see. Of course, it's actually over 1,000 miles. Well, it's probably not worth it in all the gas you're going to have to spend. But if you are in, I'm about an hour east of Pittsburgh. If anyone is seriously around and wants to buy my commons boxes, um, I'd definitely be willing to part with them. I'm not going to part with just one. I'd like to get rid of like 10,000 or 20,000 at a time. So I've got 2 million of them. So just selling one box, probably not... Uh, not worth it to go through all the rigmarole of meeting up and everything. All right, so we got a Charles Barkley right here. Charles Barkley. This one is going to be his 1990-91 to 91 Fleer card. Charles Barkley right there. Probably says make team bags. I wish I had the time. If I had some assistance, I would definitely just say, hey, guys, let's put these, let's sort all these out. But uh, I just, honestly, I've, I have two million cards that have been sitting in the garage for like four years now and I just have not had time to sort through them like literally I think I bought these like in 2018 I used to make videos about them remember those videos I I bought a 100,000 card collection I'd sort through them and uh, pick out all the hall of famers and stuff like that way back in the day might have even been 2017 I was doing that and I just kept buying collections and I was thinking I'll get to this one eventually but I just never did Jerry Fine's back Jerry Fine thank you very much for the five dollar super chat since jailbreak Dave says, I remember those old videos. Greg Maddox rookie card right there. We've got Alec Bohm. That's going to be his inception rookie number out of just 25. Rookie patch auto. We got Kevin Biggio. And Tom says, I can't wait for another garage find video. I actually have bags like that. You know how I find bags? I've got bags of stuff that I've just never done before. Like um, there's bags from like 2021. There's 2021 cards. I'll probably just wait a few years and do a video on those. Was that the 100,000 uh, card collection that you paid one cent a card for? Yeah, something like that. Just It may have even been less than that. There's Kevin Biggio out of 25, Sam Huff, and Rafael Palmero. All right, here we go with the next one. It's a Walker Bueller. Walker Bueller PSA 10 2018 Bowman Chrome is going to be the hit. Can you do a tour of your garage and card room video? It's too messy. Too, too messy. My garage is... I, I have a three-car garage, and I cannot park my car in there because it is filled with baseball cards and the tractor. So um, I have just enough room to park my tractor in there to cut my grass with. And I had to move a bunch of baseball cards uh, out of the way to do it. But, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to get it all cleared out and, um, and park my car in there again, especially with winter coming here in Pennsylvania. All right, here he is, Dreamer Believer, Raymond J. Seitzinger at spot number 44. Let's see what we have for you in this one. Good luck. There's a great place called Greenies that has vault sales. Yeah, I, I hear that um, they're pretty good. Let's see what we can find. Jerry with another super chat. Thanks, Jerry. Says he's going to... Hopefully be back tomorrow. Um, thank you very much, Jerry, for the super chat. We've got Michael Jordan. That's going to be a 92-93 hologram right there. How much is a box of commons? Um, I, I don't even know what they would... I'd have to figure out what I paid for them. I think I paid like five bucks per thousand or something like that. So they'd probably be right around there. So if I give you a twenty thousand uh, dollar, not if I give you twenty thousand cards, it'd be like a hundred bucks maybe. Craig Biggio, eighty eight 
FLIR update. Hopefully you pull some grippies and stuff out of there. There's Willie Castro, rookie auto. Jesus Sanchez, number out of 149. The J-Rod Sapphire, I like that one a lot. Dylan Carlson, there he is. Lou Whitaker, rookie card, is the last one. So here we go with this next one. We have a Kyle Tucker. That's going to be a Kyle Tucker PSA 10 2019 Chrome rookie card. So the big Wander Franco is still out there. Rookie patch auto, PSA 10. And there's only six boxes left. The Nolan Ryan, we found that one just a little bit ago in box, I think it was 40. And now let's go ahead and see what we've got in box number 45. This one's for Patrick Crawford. So, Patrick, here we go. Let's see if you can get lucky here, man. And spot number 45. The Castro was out of five, says Richard. That's even better. I missed that one. The Castro was out of just five. How many bins of commons do you have? I'm picturing a giant room filled with hundreds. Of, it's uh, it's pretty much like that. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. So I would like to, uh, like I, I said a long time ago, I'd like to get all the bulk out and just go for quality over quantity. So that's what I'd like to do. Maybe sell all those commons off, make maybe a thousand bucks or two, and put that into a nice Clemente rookie card and in a PSA one or two or whatever. All right, so we have Monty Hall, who is a legendary game show host. And what else do we have here? Ricky Henderson rookie card from 1980 tops. Ricky Henderson. We've got a an Adam Wainwright out of 35. We've got Seth Romero. That one's going to be his autograph, numbered out of 35. Michael Conforto rookie card. And a Miggy, Miguel Cabrera game use jersey card right there. All right, here we go. The hit here, it's going to be a Yon Moncada. That is going to be a short print. It is his PSA 10 rookie card, the short print with the hoodie on. I don't know if that's a short print, super short, or super, super short, but still pretty cool. There's a Ricky Henderson rookie in there. That was my favorite card of that box. All right, so we only have five boxes left. So, Patrick, thank you very much. Uh, Zach says, I have about 10,000 or so base cards. What would be the best way to sell them? We got a bunch. You have like 6,000 cards, it seems like, from your Saturday Showdown win from all those 2021 cards. I would just sell them in a lot. I'd put them on Facebook Marketplace and uh, just dump them that way. Unless, I mean, all those like all those base cards you won in the Showdown, the only thing you can really do with those is build sets with them. Or you could donate them to the kids. Like If you're trying to make money off them, though, I feel like the best return on your money is going to be making complete sets and selling them that way. There's just, um, I don't know, there's not a ton of demand for, like, 20,000 commons anymore. That's why, you, you know, they're, like, five bucks per thousand dollars or whatever it is. All right, so we've got um, Yoyang Duan right now at spot number 46. Let's see what we can find. Do you know if Hample went to the Home Run Derby? I, I assume he's there. I don't know if he put a video out of it yet. I assume he was there, but... Um, I mean, that's that's his deal, so he should have been there. Mr. Met, cool card right there. Game-used jersey card of Mr. Met. What's the best place to get 5,000-count boxes? I get them from some place called Columbia something or other, supply company. At least I used to. I bought like 30 of them like two years ago, and they've lasted me since. Tony Gwynn, rookie card. We also have a Reese Hoskins quad relic auto right there. That one's numbered out of 99. Junior Fernandez, orange. Good card there, numbered out of 25. A Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rated rookie card. That one is a nice one right there. And a Lou Whitaker. That's going to be a Lou Whitaker autograph. Jeff says, how's Heather doing these days? She's doing good. Uh, we just played a home run derby tonight. Heather hit two dingers in the Blitzball home run derby. I won it, by the way, with 11. I was a little nervous for a while. That uh, got kind of off to a slow start. Robbie had six. I was like, yeah, I'm, I might not even get there. But then I went on a little tear at the end and had 11. Did 10 out home run derby with blitz balls. Had a baseball field. You had to hit it in the outfield on the fly. I could be a home run. But anyway, let's see what we have for Mr. Yong. You've got Austin Meadows. That is going to be his PSA 10 refractor rookie card from 2018 Topps Chrome. So we're down to just four boxes left now. The Wander's out there somewhere. 
Let's see what we've got. AB says that Tony Gwynn is one of my all-time favorite cards. All right, here's spot number 47. This one is for Keith New Row of the New Row Mystery Packs. Can Keith hit that wander? Caleb thinks he's going to. He says this next one's going to have the wander. Rookie patch auto out of... Uh, I think it's out of 50, and it is a PSA 10, and it might be a $2,000 card. So, Keith, you've got a, uh, you got a one in four chance here. Vincent said Wander is 47. I called it four boxes ago. So, your weirdo card is going to be a checklist. It's going to be a garbage pail kid there. Vile Kyle, who is chugging beer. These are um, 1985. This is first, uh, is first edition, first series. Garbage pail kids, that's pretty cool. Those were the first packs I ever opened, actually, as a kid. Carlton Fisk rookie card from 1972. Very nice one right there. We've got a Chris Bryant orange perspectives insert card, numbered out of 25. This is a great card. Sandy Alcantara rookie auto. Awesome card right there. We've got Nico Horner out of 50. And we've got Donnie Baseball from Fleer 1985. Second year card there. All right, here we go. Is this the rookie patch auto of Wander Keith Nero? You got a Nolan Arn auto. It's going to be a PSA 10. That was 2013 Bowman draft. So a Nolan Arn auto for you. Some nice cards in there with the uh, Carlton Fisk rookie card. And I think my favorite was the Sandy Alcantara rookie auto. But now we're down to just three packs left. Thanks for being here tonight, everybody. I really appreciate that for those of you that stopped by and spent the last uh, hour and a half to hour and 40 minutes with us. Here's spot number 48. This one's going to be for Bradley. Get your name put on there, and let's see if you will hit that wander. There's our wacko pack. We've got um, the slab pack right here as we wrap this up. Looks like maybe another. Garbage Pell Kid. It's going to be a Mona Loser from the Sapphire Garbage Pell Kid line. We've got Edgar Martinez. That is a Henry... I think that's Henry Cotto. That's an uncorrected error. That's not actually Edgar Martinez. We have a Dane Acker First Blue, which is going to be numbered out of 150. Masahiro Tanaka Purple, numbered out of 299. Gavin Lux, rookie card in a green. And Fred McGriff, rookie from 86, Don Russ. All right. All right. I'm feeling like this is probably going to be it, don't you think? These, uh, there wasn't really a big time hit in that pack in terms of like a Henderson rookie or a Fisk rookie. I bet you this is it. The, yes, it is. There it is. The Wander Franco rookie patch auto. It's numbered out of 50. It is a PSA 10 Aqua. I, I don't know what the pop count is. I think Richard said he thought that the pop count may have been a one on this one. And uh, it could possibly potentially be worth anywhere between $1,500 and $2,000 right here. And it is going to none other than Bradley. So, Bradley, you got potentially the most valuable card of the night. Wander Franco, Rookie Patch, I don't know. If this was back in March, when this came out, this would have been probably a $5,000 card. And Vlad says, I'm betting that it is a pop one after all. It's out of 50, Wander Franco, Rookie Patch Auto. There it is. And there's two boxes left. So what is in these last two boxes? Man, what a beautiful card right there. PSA 10. So that was a nice one. I'm going to let everyone vote on what you thought of this product. Uh, Vaughn says, I'm still very high on Wander. Yeah, the injuries have kind of really slowed him down a bit this year. He hasn't really performed as we all thought. Derek is up next. Derek Perkowski. And if you would like to participate in this poll, I'm going to ask for you to grade this mystery product for me. Because I'm always looking like if you... I'm going to put a poll up. You don't have to leave a live chat. There's going to be a poll that you actually click on and um, read. So grade this nothing but hits mystery uh, pack. Overall, you have the choices of A... B, C, or D. Um, A is the highest. B would be, you know, decent. C would be average. D would be bad. So I'll, I'll put I'll put those qualifiers there.
I'm just uh, curious what you guys think. So the polls come up right now, and uh, we'll go ahead and see what everyone thinks. And we got over a thousand people in here. At least we did at our high point. Now after the Wanderers poll, we dropped down to 950. But 950 folks, go ahead and vote. Let me know what you think of this product on that poll. The price was 300 bucks a pack, which includes the shipping and the PayPal fees. So 299 all together. All right, so let's see what we have here for Derek. We've got Dominic Wilkins. That's going to be a Dominic Wilkins relic right there. It's going to be a classics relic. We have a Wade Boggs rookie card from 83 Fleer. We've got a Key Brian Hayes rookie auto pink. Key Brian Hayes pink numbered out of 99. Pete Alonso, that's a purple. It'll be numbered out of 299. Jake Cronenworth. And we've got a Nolan Arenado numbered out of 999. So here's our slab, and then we'll be down to our last pack of the evening. It is going to be a Belly Bombs, Cody Bellinger, and a PSA 10 from 2017 Heritage. Jerry says, how do I join a break on Patreon? Yet we sell all of our spots on Patreon. I don't think there's any new releases coming out. I checked. The next new release is August 3rd, but it's Topps Factory Sets, which, I mean, wouldn't really be that uh, crazy to rip open, so... I don't think we're going to be buying cases of Topps Factory sets because that's just uh, it's not, just not that interesting. So I think the next new release is going to be coming out on August 10th or so. There's three releases coming out. That'll be our next uh, probably our next break. So here's our final box of the evening. But by the way, we'll have the Jade Claus packs coming uh, up. Uh, we have a, a nice consignment auction coming up as well. Pack 50, last one. It's for Enrique. Let's see what we can find for Enrique Armenta in our final box of the evening. Let's see what we can find in here. Court says, Jabs just ignored my super chat. Cry face. Sorry about that. I missed it. There it is. It says, nice card, but the Greg Jeffries auto is unmatched. Yeah, there, was an, there was a Greg Jeffries auto in there. Thank you very much for that, Court. 88 Fleer update Greg Jeffries auto. All right, so here it is, last pack. Sometimes the mystery packs makers will make the last pack a banger. Let's see if that happens here. And our last line of mystery packs, Keith Nero had his last pack be an all-Hall of Famer rookie uh, lineup, which is pretty awesome. Fielded a whole team of Hall of Fame rookie cards and put a Harold Baines PSA 10, uh, at least a PSA uh, graded autograph rookie card in there. Our hit here, Ryan says, Eric, I was supposed to have two spots. I only had one. Ryan, unfortunately, if you check your, your PayPal, the second one came in too late. So I did hit the the uh, I did hit the refund button on that, and it should have came back in your account. There was a bunch of people that sent over payments after we were sold out, and I think you were one of them. I'll check into it. There's bad news with Jim Carrey, Fleer 1995, which is a pretty interesting card right there. My brother was really big into Batman. I feel like he would probably really like this card. He really liked all the Batman stuff. Could be a potentially big card. So I see that um, I have refunded uh, Raimundo and Brett and Blake and Jeff. I could not refund um, Jack because your payment is pending. But I'll check into that for you, Ryan West. Sorry that uh, we only got you for one. I'll go and check your name off the clock or off the list and give that money back to you. I do see two payments. Another one came through. I don't know why you're not on there, but you are getting your money back, man, right now. All right, so we've got John Smoltz leading things off. That's his 1989 Upper Deck rookie card. We've got a Eduardo Rodriguez Speckle rookie card. Number out of 250. We've got Dalton Varsho, rookie auto. We've got an Andy Young out of 99 autograph. Jazz Chisholm, Prism Refractor. Gary Sheffield, 89 Tops rookie. And Gary Sheffield out of 99. Nice clear out of 99 from Clearly Authentic. Pretty cool card right there. The 500 home run club hitter. And now we're down to our very final slab of the night. Albert says, thanks for the content, Eric. Have a great night, everyone. See you next time. Thank you very much. And Jake says that Jim Carrey auto is massive. So, yeah, I didn't even really uh, linger on it too long. But a Jim Carrey autograph, I didn't even realize it was autograph, to tell you the truth, when I looked at it the first time. So I guess it might be an in-person auto of Jim Carrey. So that's a pretty cool card. 
Jim Carrey autograph. I was just watching a, uh, a YouTube video about the Truman Show and how kind of like eerily like similar it is. Like they almost predicted the future and stuff like that. Um, I love the Truman Show. That's probably one of my favorite movies from the 90s. But here we go. Last one. I've not been to SGC, uh, SGC Hobby at any time uh, within the past like month or two. Final card, it's Bryce Harper. It's the Bryce Harper 2011 Bowman Prospect in a PSA 10 to wrap this up. So there you have it, folks. That's Rippin' Dickies, and it is the uh, brand new mystery pack that was put together. It looks like most people, if you take a look at the feedback, here's what we have in the poll that we put up. Just kind of interested about, you know, what people thought about it. 27% rated them A and really good. Actually, now it just went up to 28%. 41% rated them good, gave it a B. 26% put it at average, and only 5% put it at bad. So that makes me feel a little better. There was a couple boxes in there that were pretty iffy. I, like, I, I'm with you with that. Like, there was a, a couple boxes there that I was like, eh. Jack Flaherty, PSA 10. Um, I don't know. Gavin Lux, PSA 10. But for the most part, you got to keep in mind there are um, definitely some uh, big chasers in there. And um, looks like overall, 71% of you thought it was either really good or good. So Richard, thank you very much for putting that together. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Make sure you check us out tomorrow. Heather sent me a text when I was at the National and said, Eric, I just found some cards at the store. And it's a store that I've never been to to buy cards, ever. So a uh, brand new place to buy cards coming at you tomorrow. Check that video out. Uh, and try to get the first comment on it. If you can get the first comment, you'll be in the entry. You'll be entered in for that bat down, Ronald Acuna Jr. short print. So check that one out. Try to be first. Turn your post notifications on. If you go to the subscribe button, there's a little bell next to it. Tap that bell and hit all. So you get, you get the notifications and try to get that first comment. So that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.